what it is that the Lord would want to make tonight. He may make him a pot of soup tonight. It's cold outside. He might want some soup tonight. So let's let him do what it is that he needs to do. Genesis chapter 3, and let's start at verse 1. This is all familiar stuff, but let's see what we can grab out of this and actually get from it because for some reason, it got old, Shabbat. Oh boy, it just keep hitting me. And Genesis chapter 3 has a lot to do with the power of deception. Uh, and it just keep hitting me, you know, just keep coming at me really, really strong. So let's just, you know, let's, let's, um, oh my God. Hey, look, listen here. I need to say this right here. I don't know. Uh, I, I, I don't know, but I, I need to put this in the atmosphere. Listen, uh, somebody need to be careful what you're listening to, you know. You need to be careful what you're listening to. You could be listening to the whispers of the enemy. Could be listening to the whispers of the enemy. Don't let the enemy get up in your ear and cause you to make some harsh decisions, to make some uh, some decisions that have not been carefully thought out and uh, I, you know, I don't, I, I feel it real strong on me. You know, I feel it real strong on me, y'all. Listen, I, I'm serious. Just, you know, don't, don't, don't allow yourself to be pushed to anything. I, I, God help me. I don't care what's going on. It may have God. Oh, it, it, it may look like, you know, the circumstance may look like it, it may be bad, you know what I'm saying? But don't you let it cause you to make no rational decisions. No, 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 no. Oh, God, help us, please, Father. Don't allow it to make you jump off sides. Because when you jump off sides, you're going to draw a penalty. You're going to draw a penalty now. Don't allow them to make you jump off sides. The whole strategy of it is, is for you to jump off sides. How you know that? Because the serpent had Eve to jump off sides. He had her to jump off sides. She was actually running a play and was headed in for the end zone. She was actually really, you know, I mean, headed in right there for the end, for the end zone. And I'll tell you why I know she was headed to the end zone. When you look down in Genesis chapter 3, it says that the Lord will meet them. In the cool of the day. And so right at the time when she was eating that fruit, it was at the time she was to get ready to meet God. That's why the Lord showed up right after this was done. Because, see, she was just right there at the break. God help me. The girl was just right there at the break. Father, please forgive me. Lord Jesus, whatever. I hope I ain't messing up in the end zone. Please, God. Woo. Oh, Lord, have mercy. It's me, oh, Lord. <laughs> I have to check myself. God, please. Yeah, she was right there. Right there at the end zone. The greatest breakthrough. About to have an encounter with the father. Because whenever the father showed up, that was the greatest thing that could happen. Because that was communication with him. His presence was there. Not only was his presence there, but his approval and his validation was there and all. So right before she get ready to meet with the father, her and her husband get ready to meet with the father. There come trouble. All kinds of hell begin to break loose. See, I'm trying to tell somebody, I don't know what's going on. God, but I'm trying to tell somebody, see, you were right at the verge of breakthrough. God, hey, God, right, right there at the crescent. God, help me. Right there, and the enemy came. Oh, Jesus Christ. And the enemy came. And his first approach was to get into the ear of the woman. Why? Because she's the weaker vessel. She's the weaker vessel. Listen, I need to say this. I'm a, I'm just following the Holy Ghost. Y'all already know how this thing is set up with me. You know, I ain't studying none of y'all with nothing. You got to say, and I, I hear God and I, I need to just move to release this. Check this out right here. What I just heard God say. Now, the enemy went to the woman and he he literally launched the attack against the woman. You know, the, the hit was against the woman. But the hit was to make the woman think that what the husband had said wasn't adequate enough. It was to cause her to have a problem with her husband. 
Okay, y'all don't hear me. It was to cause her to have a problem. I'm recording this. I don't care if you don't hear me. I got it recorded, so I'm on. I'm on here myself. Listen, uh, um, it was to cause her to have a problem. Women need to hear this. Was to have a problem with her husband. Oh God, you gonna do this like this? I ain't got no other choice, y'all. I just sat down in here. I just hung up the phone with a pastor. She told me to tell y'all all. Hey, I said, hey, look, listen, man. I got five minutes to rock and roll. I went in there and got me a, a coconut, uh, a coconut water. And, and, and look, listen. Here, here's the thing. I, um, he wanted her to literally. It was to have a problem with. The husband. Okay. So why would you say here Kate be so my ha? Hey ha have a problem with a husband. Uh what about having a problem with God? Uh uh-uh. uh. You gotta understand order. <laughs> you got to understand order. Uh the husband is the head of the household, but Christ is the head of the husband. Okay, so it was to make her have a problem with her husband. I'll take it a little bit further to help you understand. The command that was given was told to her by her husband. He got God told Adam and then Adam conveyed it over to Eve. It was to make her have a problem with her husband. See, what I'm trying to tell you is, is the woman was created as a help meet. Her design and purpose was to help him to meet things. So what happened is, is when the enemy can get inside of the woman, uh, Somebody pray for me. When the enemy can get inside of the woman and literally turn her and literally distort her and literally put her in a bad place, he already got the man. He already got the man. Because she, she was designed to help the man. The initial hit is to destroy the man. But what she's about to do is help him assassinate the man. I need to lead on her. Yeah, I need to lead Angie. I need to lead. I need to leave, don't I? Y'all want me to get out of here, don't you? Hang in there. Hang in y'all, there. Y'all want me to get out of here, don't you? Don't quit. Y'all, y'all want me to leave, see? I, Wait with it. Wait with it. <laughs> Come on. See? We need to hear uh, it. with it. The assignment was to get him. But when she allowed her emotions to get caught up, because emotions will make you cry sometimes. She allowed her emotions to get caught up. They allowed, she then joined forces with the enemy in the assassination. Okay. All right. Tell me how you know that. I'm going to work the text, y'all. I'm in Genesis 3. I, I'm going to work the text. Watch this right here. This is what was said. Did God say that you, should, sh- you shouldn't eat of this fruit? Did God surely say that? Well, check this out. She said, God said that we is not to eat of the fruit of the tree in the midst of the garden, which is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. But listen to this. Her husband told her that. She didn't hear God say that. Her husband told her that. So that was to make her come against what her husband was saying. As to say, your husband is not adequate enough. Your husband didn't convey it over like it was supposed to be conveyed over. See, what he was doing was was turning her eyes against her husband. I need to get out of here, man. I need to leave. I, I, I need to go. I need to, I put my, I need to put my finish putting these clothes up and everything and get out. I, I, I done called it. I, I, I got to be protected. Lord, please keep me protected. I'm getting too much revelation. I'm about, hey, look, man. Don't let nobody hurt me. Please, God. Uh, oh, my Jesus Christ. The whole substratum. Remember now, she's a help. She's a help meet. She ain't a help mate. The Bible does not call her a help mate. It calls her a help meet. She's a help meet. She's to help him to meet the goals. She's to help him to meet the requirements. She was to help him stay on course of what God told him to do. I don't think. Hey, listen. Yay. Her assignment was to help him stay on course of what God said to do. Hey, listen, listen. I need, man, y'all. Any question? In, 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 uh, Wrong with you now, Pastor. Come on now. That's why I'm a woman now. Her assignment was to help him meet. Help him meet the goals that God the the, the assignments that God had given. That was her position. 
the Lord had told him to dress it and to keep it. Mm -hmm. She was to help him meet that. But the serpent got in her ear. And when he got in her ear, he made Adam look different. He made her husband look different to her. He was no longer the man that she valued. Oh, Jesus Christ. He, I ain't finished. I want to be, but I ain't finished. I, I'm going to leave y'all early. I'm going to tell you now because I can't handle this. He made her husband look different to her. She was living based off of the words of her husband. It wasn't that her husband was foul. The serpent was foul. I wish somebody would pray for me. Angie, you ain't praying. You ain't about nothing this evening. It wasn't that her husband was fouled. The serpent was fouled. Okay, so it is not that the husband mm, is fouled. It's the whore he fooling with that's fouled. Let's say it like that. How about if the whore pursued him? Let's say it like that. Huh? Think about it. Think about it. Okay, all right, y'all talk to me. Amen. That's it. I, I hear you now. Connection. The because connection. didn't the serpent pursue E? Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. The weakest me. And so you don't he think. Him and so you don't think that you don't think that women pursue men, no? Mm -hmm. yeah, they they sure do. Do. With the quickness. Drop it and lock it. Hmm? Yeah, Y'all know that. Yes, true. That's true. Mm -hmm. They are very enticing. They have the mannerism of a serpent, which is subtle. The assignment, let's go back to the assignment. What was the assignment that the woman was given? Help him. Sabotage the husband. She help him. Help me. Her assignment was a help meet. Right. So in her assignment of being a help meet, that meant that she had knowledge. Of all areas. God did not specifically say. I just want you to help him keep the cattle. I'm going to give you someone that will help you keep the cattle. Or I'm going to give you someone that will um, help you tend to uh, the farm. The Lord just literally clarifies her as a help meet. There were multiple areas that are attached to our lives. There are five areas. Mm -hmm. Y'all know this. Five areas. Spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. Five areas. She were assigned to how many of those areas do y'all think? Oh, that's one of them. Every last one of them. If you ever in a relationship and you are forbidden from any of those areas, you got a serpent somewhere. I'm going to get in trouble tonight, ain't I? 
Oh, It ain't like I'm scared, no way. But watch this. If you are forbidden to come into any of those areas, you got a serpent somewhere. As a help meet, which which synonymous to a spouse. As a spouse, if he say money is off limits, you can't know nothing about money. You can't have nothing to do with the money. That is a restriction on your assignment. You got a serpent somewhere. Mm -hmm. Emotionally shut down. Don't connect. You got a serpent somewhere. Not physically touching. No type of affection. It is literally diminishing more and more. You got a serpent somewhere. Not spiritually connected. Not praying together. You got a serpent somewhere. There's a serpent somewhere. And it is forbidden the assignment that was originally given. That's the attack. The attack is to get the man. Ultimately, is to get him. His seed is very important. But he works through the woman in order to get it. I will go out on a limb to say this about us as women. We are called to be intercessors in our home. We are called to be intercessors in our home. Satan, in the form of that serpent in that garden, was launching an attack against the intercessor in Eve, which was going to allow him to get who he wanted from the beginning, which was Adam. Okay, I'm I'm in too much revelation for y'all tonight, ain't it? I, I, no, 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 that's right. Oh man, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna read it again. Okay, I'm gonna read it again. The man sperm. The man is so important, and his sperm is so important that the Lord said it ain't even got no business touching the ground. That's why. That masturbating, ejaculating with a, a man using his hand, that is not, that's not right. Mm -hmm. That is not appropriate because it's spilled. It's spilled. Mm -hmm. So it's not right. And his sperm is what determines by according to studies that they have shown. It is the most dominant inside of us. He wanted Adam. And he wanted Adam because Adam had been given a instruction to do what? Somebody think about what he had told him to do. What did he tell him to do with the earth? Had dominion over the earth. He told him. He it. steward it. He told him to multiply, to keep replenishing the earth, replenish the earth, replenish the earth. I'm going to make you a sex machine. Get up, pa. get on up, get up, pa. get on up. I said, get on the scene like a sex machine. Do what you need to do, boy. I've graced you with the ability to do what you need to do. And if he's doing what he need to do and he's reproducing, then it's going to cause some problems because I'm literally trying to shut down 
mankind or, or the creation of God, you know, because at that time they were in spirit form. So I'm trying to cut. I'm trying to literally kill. This is the serpent, the enemy's mindset, Lucifer, Diabolos, Beelzebub, him. I'm literally trying to kill the creation of God and it will multiply through Adam. She's an incubator, but it will multiply through him. So I got to get me a strategy in order to assassinate him. But I'm going to go through her. Ah, Jesus Christ. I'm going to make her feel some type of way. Like that song said, it'll make you feel some type of way. I'm going to make her feel some type of way. Now, she's hinged on her husband's words. Now, I'm about to say something that's not going to sound uh, a 2023 correct, but I don't care. I know it's correct, so I'm not going to be moved off of it. Really and truly, your man's words, you are supposed to be hinged on your man's words according to the Bible because he was instructed to be hinged on her man's words. I, I done told y'all, and I can show you through the text right here, the Lord gave the instruction to Adam, and Adam conveyed it over to Eve what the Lord said. So really, you're supposed to be hinged on your man's words because your man is supposed, it takes a man to make a woman, y'all. That's why you know when you, it's a lot of people, it's a lot of females out here, but they're not women because it takes a man to make a woman and it takes a woman to make a man. You know when you don't been touched by a man, everything about you changed. You ready to be pretty. You ready to be cute. Oh, my Lord. He pulls out the feminine side of you to the best. You ain't going around here changing ties and all that kind of stuff when you with a man. You do that when you with a male. You don't do that when you with a man. Because he wants the skin so soft. It's his saving place. He was literally. At the man. But come through the woman. I need to make her feel some type of way. I need to get her off of his words. Okay. Let me show y'all. Let's go a little bit deeper in it. Most of the time when you hear people break up, when they, you know, they, they tell them about their they relationship ain't, ain't a good. Now, you don't see them be, ooh, Jesus Christ, all this and that. Boy, they was just, they was just in love. They, I'm so into you, just all caught up. And I'm, when you hear about the breakup, this is usually what you hear them say. Turn out to be somebody I didn't know. Okay. Hmm. Okay. There's conversation that creates that doubt. He ain't keep his promises. He ain't promised me this and he ain't keep his promises. Where did you get that conversation from? I've been doing a lot of going back into stuff and having to repent for a lot of erroneous stuff that I've did. Let me show y'all one of the areas. We call women that listen to their husband stupid. She's stupid. She's a fool for him. What did the Bible say? I need to get out of here, y'all. So we've done damage in people's houses. 
because we've said stuff like this. Girl, I wouldn't put up with that if I were you. You let him talk to you like that. You let him tell you what you can and you can't go. Now, some of it, if it's a form of control, trust me, I get it. And I ain't with the control now. I ain't with the control. I'm on book. I'm going to cut the food myself. But there are certain elements. If it's a righteous relationship, according to what you see in the Bible, and this is the King James Version, the B-I-B-L-E. Yeah, that's the book for me. According to what you see in the Bible, this woman was created from this man, literally was taken from this man, and became into existence. The man was the one that spoke to her first. God didn't. God put the man to sleep, brought her out of the man, but God didn't say anything to her. The first person to say something to her was her husband. He spoke to her and said, this is bone of my bone and flesh. I got to go, y'all. Flesh of my flesh. He spoke into her. He called her into existence. Because it was his voice that was supposed to matter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why do you think Sarah called Sarai at the time, called Abram Lord? Why? Why do y'all think that? Because it was his voice that she was to adhere to. It was his voice. Oh, I ain't falling no chump now. I'm not going to follow no chump. But if it's a chump, you in trouble already because you, 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 you messed up when you got in there. All that is, is a result of flesh. <laughs> and sometimes you have to look back and, 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 and literally look back at yourself and say, now look at that now. Now look at that. You done caught another body. <laughs> you know, that's what they call it when you got multiple sex partners. They call it catching bodies. If y'all ever hear the young folks say, how many bodies you got? That means how many people you done slept with? That's what they saying. They'll say something like, that joker got about 25 bodies. That means that joker done slept with about 25 people. That's the slang talk. That's what they're saying. And so sometimes, you know, you have to look back at the bodies that you done caught and realize that my God, that was me, all me. That didn't have nothing to do with God. That was me that done that right there and got myself in that situation. Oh, wow. Because, see, when you get the right one, there's something about what he say when he speak to you. It's something about what he say. That's why I'm detoxing and we're done detoxed of them bodies, y'all. Of them bodies. I had to get the monkeys off my back. Them bodies. And if you have not done that, I would encourage you to get yourself cleansed of them bodies. Because you be carrying around those bodies. You know in school they taught you that when you sleep with a person, you done slept with who they slept with and then they done slept. All them is bodies. All of them is bodies. Get the monkeys off your back. Then the woman, first voice she hear is her husband's. Not God's. Her husband. But when a woman listens to a man nowadays, we call her stupid. You know how many women looking for divorces and all that kind of stuff because they're worried about somebody calling them stupid? They won't weather a storm because I don't want to be stupid. I don't want to be stupid. He made some kind of gave some type of instruction. She didn't want to follow it because she didn't want to be stupid in front of people. Hey, honey, don't do X, Y, Z. You know, honey, don't bring this over here. Hey, honey, I don't want you to buy that right now. No, honey, I don't want them over at the house right now. What you trying to do? You trying to run things? Why are you going to be stupid? <sighs> and look. Boom. I got to get out of here, y'all. I got to get out of here. I would not be putting my mouth on anybody that respects their husband. I ain't going to do it. Get somebody else to do it. Y'all can have that. I would not. Because technically, that's what happened in the Bible. Now, anybody want to argue with the Bible? Y'all up for it tonight? 
I want to see God go down a tussle anyway. Me and the devil had a tussle and I won. You remember that? that Y'all know that little song. Oh, anybody want to argue with the Bible? Nope, not me. <laughs> 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 it said, nope, not me. <laughs> I don't even do it all with you. <laughs> nah, get somebody else to do it. <laughs> I ain't doing it. <laughs> I ain't doing it, and I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. <laughs> as long as it's a covenant there, I ain't touching it. <laughs> I'm not touching it. No, no, sir. No, sir. I'm not touching it, y'all. As long as them folk married, them people in covenant, I'm not touching it. I'm not touching it. What I will encourage her to do is to be an intercessor, and you know what I'm saying? Hold your fort, baby. Hold your fort. That's what you do. You hold your fort. You be an intercessor because, see, when you technically, when you read the word and you do what the words say, the Bible says, let him give her a written letter of divorcement. Then women ain't got no business filing for divorce. No way. Oh, I just got in trouble. Y'all want me to show it to you in the scripture? Y'all thought I was lying, didn't you? Hmm? You want me to show it to you in the scripture? Yeah, let him give her a written letter of divorcement. That's the reason why it says if she goes and remarries, he causes her to commit adultery. Somebody make that, understand that, explain that to me. Why does that make her commit adultery? Anybody know the answer to that? Where y'all at? I'm going to leave you now. I ain't got time for all this sitting here contemplating. Because she went and got the divorce. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Why do you think that if she marries someone else, it says it causes her to commit adultery? Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Huh? Let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Let's see if we can find it in there. Um, let's go to Matthew chapter 5. Let's see if we can find it in here. Start at verse 31. Go to Matthew chapter 5, verse 31. Let's see if I read it right. It should be right because the Holy Spirit brought it back to my remembrance. So it should be right. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 31. This is what it says. It has been said, he said, whosoever shall put away his wife. Listen to how he said it. Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. Anybody want to argue that? Huh? Anybody want to argue that? I can't hear y'all. No, ma'am. Who does it say he's supposed to get the papers? Because she's a help meet. She came from a man. She can't even stand on her own for real. She's a weaker link. Why? That's why I look, y'all. That's why I ain't with all this hard stuff. Well, you know, I'm going to stand on my own. I'm a woman. I'm going to stand. Hey, you don't go somewhere and suck some eggs. Put you 12 of them in your mouth at one time. Blow your jaws out. That's not how it's designed to be. That's the reason why you're hard. It 
She's let him give her a writing of divorcement. Now go drop to verse 32 though. Let's look at verse 32. He says, but I say unto you, now remember this is in red. So this, that's the man himself talking to Jesus, the Lord, my savior, my best friend. He says, but I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication. Let me help y'all understand. That means she was cheating. That means she was cheating. I'm going to say it one more time. That means she was cheating. Not him. She was cheating. But it says, I say unto you that whosoever shall put away his wife, except for, for the cause of fornication, she cheating causes her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorce committed adultery. Why why are they committing adultery? Somebody help me understand that. Why are they committing adultery, you think? Am I by myself tonight? I'm going to click out of here and leave now. Y'all don't ask me to do this and then I do it. And everybody on mute. Ain't nobody got nothing to say. Why do you think they're committing adultery? Why? Why do you think she's committing adultery and whoever married her committing adultery? Why do you think? Take a shot at it. Because he put her away for selfish ambition. Yeah, he just... True facts. She still has a husband. She still has a husband. The only reason that he is given that he can put her away is right there in the text, y'all. If you what does it say why he can put her away? Sexual sin. What's the word that it uses? Stay in the Bible. Use the word it say. What does it say? So I was in that. I was in a different uh, fornication. Fornication. If she cheating, then he free to put her away, and she's not. It's not adultery if she run off with uh, 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 Billy Bob. It's not adultery. Now, that's why I run over to, they take your mind over to the scripture where they caught the woman in the very act of adultery. Y'all remember that scripture? They caught her in the very act. Yes, mm -hmm. Now, she could be put away right or wrong. Yes. Why? She was caught in a sexual act. She, she was committing fornication. She was. That's right. That's right. But if she's not doing that and her husband decides to give her a divorce because some stuff he got going on, she go remarry. It says it's adultery and who she's married to is considered as adultery. God puts very strong stipulations on covenants. Everything is not a covenant. Every marriage is not a covenant, y'all. To tell you the truth. Some of them are contracts, but they're not covenant. Mm -hmm. Some of them are contracts in the essence of, I just mm -hmm. married him for his money. I ain't never wanted him. That's not a covenant. But when two people have decided to come together in mutual agreement for something to work, for something to last, and they've committed their voices to it in saying, till death do us part, sickness and in hell, richer and poor, better and worse, 
They've said that. That's considered a covenant. And when something happens, Mm -hmm. literally, you can trace it down to see. Mm -hmm. Unless that man caught her in adultery, you can trace it down to see. Some serpent done got in that woman's ear and has literally shifted her thoughts about her husband. She's no longer interceding for him because she's listening to the lies of the serpent. She's not viewing him the same anymore because she's listening to the lies of the serpent. He don't talk to you no more like he used to. Well, he might be going through something. You know what I'm saying? You know, he, he, don't, he don't pay you any attention anymore and all this stuff. You know, saying, hey, he may be dealing with something. They go through things too. You know, and, and, and you don't have to put up with that. You know what I'm saying? Did God say you had to stay in this right here? Oh, no, honey. You know you got your own stuff anyway. One of the most dangerous places you can put a woman in is when she got her own stuff. I'm just serious. I'm 100% serious. I'm against the 2023 talk, y'all. I'm sorry. But that's one of the most worst positions you can put a woman in is when she got her own stuff, baby. She's a mess. A literal mess. Because it is literally used as a weapon against him. And it has destroyed many homes. It has destroyed many homes. Many homes. She got her own house. She got her own car. Good job. Work hard. She's a bad broad. I didn't ever care for that, to be honest with y'all. It ain't even in my playlist. Because I knew it would keep me single. I eliminated any stuff. When I listen to music, I listen to the lyrics. And I started eliminating any music that would keep me single. Now, all right, any questions or any comments? Because I'm I'm going to leave y'all. You just made me murder Neo. <laughs> His song is independent. Mm-mm, I don't mess with it. Mm-mm. It's one of the worst predicaments. And really and truly, I mean, y'all can get mad. Uh, you know, I don't care you because you get mad at God. Really and truly, to be honest with you, what did she own in that garden? Nothing. Stop it. He gave me. Stop it. Everything mm-hmm. was there when she came. Mm-hmm. Everything was in place when she came. See, that's the problem. See, I'm telling y'all, y'all pray for me, man. I got too much revelation running around. I don't want nobody to hurt me. I'm serious. I know the enemy don't like me. I know he don't. It's too much revelation, and I'm kicking all them sacred calves in the mouth. Every bit of that stuff. It's to get it to the way it's supposed to be, the way God intended for it to be. I will not be standing in my husband's face talking about what money I make, what I got. Now, I won't be doing none of that. I won't be doing none of that. Mm-mm. I won't be doing none of that. It's an incentive. and add to it's a bonus for us. Mm-mm. But it won't be looked at as I bring this to the table. Hey, y'all get somebody else to do that. Delphine ain't doing it. It's done destroyed too many families. It's done destroyed too many families. You can go all the way back to Sarai. The Bible said that Abram was out. He was tending to the herd. Sarai was in the tent. 
So you got to stay in your place. Too many women, too many females are out of their place. And they're literally doing what the Bible says. They're destroying their homes with their own hands. It says a wise woman builds her house, but a foolish one plucks it down with her own hand. So she really don't need that woman that she think got her man to tear it down. She tearing it down herself. Sometimes you can help the serpent get in. If you just tell the truth about it. Sometimes the woman is the door opener for the serpent. Because she don't know how to serve. Now she was created to serve. She come forth out of the man. But don't want to serve. I ain't finna let nobody tell me. He ain't tell me what I ain't finna serve. Hey look go get somebody else to do that. Please. I, 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 I can't. I will not disrespect and dishonor another man. Period. I've had to spend 17 years alone. From dishonoring and disrespecting a man. I won't do another one like that. I don't care if I ain't, don't. You know, the Lord allowed me to get married in the last three years of my life. They're going to be the best three years of that man's life. I am not disrespecting and dishonoring another man. Will I talk to him about things? Yes. Will we have hard conversations? Yes, we will talk about things. But there will be a protocol of how stuff is done. Because I am a woman. And I know my place. Society will not destroy my home. They got the first one. They won't get it again. They won't get it again. I am an intercessor and that's what I will be in my home. Period. Any questions, any comments? Mm -hmm. Here. All right. Y'all don't have any questions or any comments? And listen, I want you know. Hey, listen, if this has impacted you in any type of way, meant anything to you, put your dollar up or something. Put your seed in it. Put your seed on it. Because this is right here is the rebirth of the woman. Now, y'all hear me saying that title. Y'all hear me saying that title now? Same way I said free to be me a year ago. And look, right now I'm, I'm in the, I'm writing a, got a whole program titled Free to Be Me. The rebirth of the woman. Because she's got to come back through again. Because the woman that has been presented is not the woman. This old hard woman don't know how to sit her butt down. Don't know how to chill. I ain't her. I ain't stunning her. Uh uh. Uh uh. No, 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 no. The curse that was put, even if you want to go back to the curse, the curse that was put was said that she would hurt in childbearing. So that was her curse. And if that's the only curse that she got, all this other stuff, where is it coming from? Technically, if you really want to go back and look at it. Where is all this other stuff coming from? All this other stuff is coming from having a undisciplined mm -hmm. nature. Listening to these other women that don't mm -hmm. submit. Mm -hmm. Taking counsel from people that ain't got a husband. Taking counsel from people that don't listen to their husband. Now, we got to get it together. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm telling y'all, put your seed on it. I don't ever try to tell you in a mind. I won't do that unless God just tells me. But I'm telling you, if you are one of the women that need to be rebirthed and are willing to humble yourself to admit it, most folk won't admit it. I'm fine. I'm good. Yeah, I know you are. I know you all with that dude that's living inside of you. You and that dude, that masculine dude inside of you. Y'all all right, ain't you? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, if you don't watch him, he'll try to run you to a woman. Have you fooling with a woman. Watch him. Mm-mm. Be a blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for who you are. And I thank you for what it is that you do, Father. Thank you for your word, for how you illuminate your word, how you just so magnificently and so prolifically just speak to us, God. Man, I love you. That's all I know to tell you, God. And I I, I love you, man. I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. We are, what, four days into a fast now or somewhat like that. We are, you know what I'm saying, we are moving, we are progressing along, and things are happening, and I thank you that by the end of this 25-day fast, that we're going to see some things happen, some manifestations of some things. We're going to see some marriages fixed. We're going to literally see some singles become, mm-hmm. in re- get in relationships that will lead to engagements, that will ultimately lead to marriage. We are literally going to see some things happen, Mm -hmm. literally see some things shifts God for the better. We're going to see there be a reconciliation Mm -hmm. between people. We're going to see people that used to be married, repent to each other for things that they done and things that they said to each other, uh, how they handled each other. We are just literally going to see by the Mm -hmm. end of this, this thing is being set in place because of our dedication and because of our consecration to get this thing done. So Father, we thank you and we thank you for your blood. Let your blood cover us, Father. Let your blood protect us, God. Keep us shielded, Lord. There there Mm -hmm. is an arch in enemy that hates us, God. There is one that has contracts and assignment. Cancel every one of them and stamp them null and void, God. But let the perfected will of what you have and what you desire to manifest within our lives. Father, we thank you for the peace that surpasses all understanding, God. We thank you for the joy unspeakable and full of glory. Father, we thank you for making crooked paths straight. We thank you for bringing wrong things right, God. We thank you for settling issues, God. And we thank you most of all for the spirit of conviction that it will nestle upon our heads, God, and help us when we error into places that we should not go in. Father, I take the lead, God, in the name of Jesus in asking you to wash and cleanse and forgive in Jesus' name, God, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. All right, anybody got anything? Last call, last call. Last call. Mm All right, I'll catch y'all later. Have a wonderful night in Jesus' name.